Hello everyone, it's Michael Teal with Presentation Plus Ups. In this episode, I am going to show you how to broadcast a high definition OBS stream in Microsoft Teams. Let's get started. All right, so in previous episodes, matter of fact, I'll just take us over here to the back cam. In previous episodes, I've highlighted how the OBS system works. I did show how you can go ahead and project an HD stream in Zoom. So I figured I would just go ahead and do the next chapter, which is doing this in Teams. I have a fun little green screen up right now so you can see you can you can do things, mom. I mean, we can go ahead and and have a, a great, very clean composition, have some other things. So let's take a look at how you do this in Teams. So let's bring up Teams. What I will do is I'm going to bring up my left screen. And what I will do here is just start a meeting. So I'm just going to start a meeting. It's going to be lonely, not going to have anyone in this particular meeting just gonna be me right now okay but the mechanics work the same either way so you can see that my camera's turned off right now when i hit the camera button you're gonna get the evil empire symbol that means i have not started my virtual camera in obs so we're gonna hit the virtual camera and you can see a mirror image of my obs program output in there now if you stuck with me in the previous video, the very detailed how-to video, you know that, yeah, we can go ahead and pipe our OBS program output into Teams or Zoom or WebEx. However, it is a very low resolution feed if you want to have fine details. For example, a screen share that we have right now. So when you're ready to go ahead and broadcast and you want that HD look, feel all the way down to the fine little font. Here is how you do it in Teams. So what we will do is we're gonna step in here once I hit join now. Before we even get to the screen share, let's talk about how we broadcast that in HD. So we have an OBS program. And by the way, if I hit studio mode in OBS here, and I'll just make this big for a second, you will see that you have a program feed and you have a preview feed. So if you are in studio mode, you have a bit of safety to see what's going on with other content that you might have set up. So you can see there's, I, if you wanna have that ability to see what's coming up next before you do it, you can set that up. That's, that's a topic for another video. I'm gonna turn off studio mode. Just know that whatever's showing up here is program. So if I turn off studio mode, all you see is what is in your program. So that's important because what I want you to do is find the gray area around your program, right click it and select full screen projector preview. All right. And you're going to project to either whatever was your sacrificial lamb screen. If that's an odd term to you go back and watch my video on how to broadcast in HD in Zoom. It was a crazy detail video. But for me, I have a fourth screen that all I use it for is to project this so then I can screen share OBS in HD, okay? So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna flip on my back cam. I am going to screen share that screen right up there that you can see behind the light. I'm gonna go to the light, all right? So when you go to screen share, I want you to look for the one that has, that looks like it has the composition and it's down here on the left. Notice we're not going to select our slide deck because if we do that, we have a one trick pony. If we select our OBS program, we have an infinite amount of scenes that we can immediately and rapidly switch from. So we're going to select that, okay? We're gonna select that. And now we are off to the races. We have, we have it set. We are screen sharing our OBS in high def. And if you wanna make sure that your animations are as buttery smooth as possible, specifically if you're doing things 
like this. So for my animations, I like to have slide decks that really have a lot of a lot of movement to them. So things that really whiz and whir that really captivate, but also just help you do a better job presenting your content. So if you want to have all of these transitions feel really smooth, here's how you want to do it for teams. So in teams, once you are screen sharing, go up here to the little ellipse. That's the word of the day. The ellipse are the three dots. Click that. It's the more actions and go down and you want to turn off incoming video. So if you do that, you are going to reduce some of that overall bandwidth and it'll just make your transitions be a little smoother. So when I am screen sharing my OBS, I will typically turn off, kick back over to my left screen here for you. I will typically turn off my webcam though, because I am already screen sharing my big, beautiful OBS program in 1080p or 720p both of those are high def that gives you that nice font control yeah once you get over this concept of how do you utilize obs bring it in there really from there the sky's the limit then you can have fun you can build out all your scenes if you have some good lighting and a green screen like i do you can really go to town and just really make things special. So hopefully that was a value to you. If you have any questions, post your comments below. I'm here to serve you. I'm here for the business user. I know there's a lot of great folks out there talking about live streaming for gaming and et cetera. But if you are an executive, an account executive, a creative director like me, a trainer, facilitator, anything like that, where you just need to do a better job communicating in a virtual world, that's what Presentation Plus Ups is for. And I am here to serve you again. Michael Teal's a name. Plusing up your presentations is my game. Thanks so much and make it a great day.